Hey beauties, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, AKA Riri, and today's video is my BoxyCharm for April of 2020. Um, in lieu of doing a unboxing with try-on or swatches, I figured since I just got out of the shower and I don't want to put makeup on my face, um, I'm just going to do my self-care routine and we're gonna just chill and relax while we see what is in our box. If you're unfamiliar with the base box for BoxyCharm, it is $25 a month and you receive five full-size makeup, hair, beauty type items. Um, I stick to this and then every three months I get the Boxy Lux as well. As you guys know, I do not get any spoilers ever. I just don't like them. And they used to say the thing on the back of the box. So I don't know what version this is. Hopefully we'll see on the inside. Um, oh, and I have the Hey Honey Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. That's a lot to say. And then when I take this off, of course, I will go through with my Hey Honey eye cream and my Tatcha. Um, if you watched my previous video, I'm really trying to go through all my little mini samples that I've kind of opened and used once. Um, because I'm trying to not be wasteful. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my little card. I have version number 23. And we have a little coupon for a makeup eraser. And I don't actually see a theme. Oh, yes, I do. Festival vibes. <laughs> they probably didn't count on uh, not being able to have festivals this year. <laughs> okay, so first thing that I see. What brand is this? This looks really familiar. I see Baddington Beauty. I have no idea what it is. Okay, it is some lashes with lash glue. Y'all know I'm not a lash person. Okay. Um, these are really beautiful. They're really light and fluffy and stuff like that. Um, but I just am not a lash person. I would rather just coat on mascara and put 55 layers of mascara on my face. But they're nice to have. I appreciate it. Next up is an Iconic London. We always get Iconic London items. It is a lip plumping gloss in a really sheer pretty pink. I actually am still using the one, you guys know I don't use gloss very often, but I'm still using it on the last one that we got, so I will probably pass this along, put it in a giveaway, something like that. Um, although it is nice to have, I will not be using it. Next up is another Iconic London. <laughs> this is the Iconic London Illuminator in the shade Blush, and these are made in Italy. I did not know that. That is what it looks like. I will swatch just a tiny bit on my hand. I'm also not a super huge fan, although these are gorgeous. Oh my god. Um, it is a really nice, heavy glass bottle as well with a little dropper. And it is a really pretty good, like, goldy champagne shade with, like, a little tinge of pink. Almost exactly like, like they say. It's, like, a really pretty, like, blushy gold. So that's what it looks like. I may try it. Um, when I do use products like this, I put it under my foundation or I mix it in with my foundation. So we shall see. Um, the next product I see, I've tried it in a mini and I absolutely hated it. Um, so I'm not even going to bother trying it. This is the Professional Hydrate Primer. I just did not like the texture and I did not like how it felt on my skin and it felt like it was peeling up on my skin. Um, I'm sure it's a great product. Not talking shit about it, but it's just not for me. So, um, so far we're not doing so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the last thing in the thing, in the thing, the last thing in the thing, with the thing, the thing, in the thing, thing, thing. The last item in our box is a Zoeva matte, matte what? I guess it's just called matte. Zoeva matte <laughs> pigments, uh, superior pigmentation, easy to blend with vitamin E. Um, we shall see. I think I've tried a couple Zoeva products before. I can't remember if I liked them, loved them, loathed, loathed them. It kind of feels a little cheap. It's a little light, but that doesn't speak to the quality of the shadows. It's actually really beautiful. I actually like the fact that it is an all matte palette, and that is what it looks like. So I will try it again. I'm not going to swatch anything tonight. Um, there is no mirror. And I'm not sure what the price point is. Of course, we'll look at that in just a second. It did have a little protective cover. I do like the color story. Y'all know I live for neutrals, warm neutrals. Of course, there's a couple purples in there. Um, but I always like a palette that has a nice bone shade and then a really deep chocolate brown. I prefer black. Um, or a deep chocolate brown to just kind of, you know, add intensity and some depth into the outer corner. So I'm actually intrigued by this. I'm super excited. It really looks like someone swatched this one right here, though. Um, it's kind of weird. 
I had gotten a palette a long time ago that was like that. And then I started seeing a lot of people say that and like posting pictures and they had like massive fingerprints. I don't know if it's just, you know, when they're doing, you know, quality control or something like that. So let's get this out of our way and let's check out the value of our products. So the Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional Hydrating Primer. The Silky Smooth Hydrating Face Primer instantly moisturizes and refreshes the skin, helps makeup stay put, and minimizes the look of pores and fine lines. It has the same oil-free, lightweight feel and pore minimizing power as the original, plus 12-hour hydration for normal to dry skin. And it is $32. <laughs> Oh, that kind of feels weird. My mask is starting to tighten up. Okay, the Zoeva Eyeshadow Palette. The Zoeva Eyeshadow Palette offers a range of highly pigmented and easy to blend eyeshadow shades in tempting hues for ultra glamorous makeup looks. The formulation of the eyeshadows is enriched with vitamin E, which helps keep it not tight and weird and dry and flaky on the lids. Um, and that is $28. I would pay $28 for that. The Iconic London Illuminator. This concentrated liquid shimmer can be added to your foundation, your primer or moisturizer, or simply used on its own for a super highlighted glow. Every drop of this super concentrated shimmer elixir glides on smoothly to bestow an ultra blendable glow. And it is $41. Jesus! Well, that better be some good shit. I will say the packaging itself is super, super nice. Very heavy, luxe, it's glass, it's frosted bottle. All right, we'll see. I think I am going to try them out. The Iconic London Plumping Lip Gloss. The ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. The High Shine formula is infused with a biometric... Metric? Biometric? Okay. Peptide, which helps to support natural collagen production for more defined and voluminous looking lips, and it is $26. The Baddington Lashes in Harlow 3D Silk Lash with Mini Glue provides dramatic length and volume. If you're looking to make a statement, this is the lash for you. The 3D Lash Effect mimics the growth structure of your own lashes for the ultimate and natural glamour, and it is $31. Um, and then... You also have like little things in here that you can shop the boxy pop up and stuff like that. I actually got some stuff this time. Um, thanks to, I think I saw Catherine post it maybe. Somebody posted it on their Instagram. And I was like, oh, bitch, I'm going, going right now, going right now. If it wouldn't have been for that, then um, I would have forgot. So that is it. Um, I'm going to, well, it still feels tacky in a couple spots. I think it's ready though. Let's try. <laughs> All right, let me get my mirror, y'all. Yeah, it still feels tacky in a couple spots. I think we're okay, though. Um, I normally start just kind of like really softly kind of feathering it up a little bit. And I kind of start here and work my way up. Um, this particular one is not like the Shills Black one that I had. Um, and even that one, like I saw these damn videos before I had tried it. because I had already bought it, but I was watching videos. And people were crying and screaming. Now, yes, if I get it caught on my brows or something like that or my baby fuzz, it does it does hurt a little bit. But this one doesn't hurt at all. Um, it's just a little tough to try to get a spot so you can get going. And I always do my toner prior to. I did my Paula's Choice Primer. And normally if I do that and get everything loosened up, it normally comes off pretty easily. <laughs> And I know a lot of people don't like, you know, peel off masks. A lot of people don't feel like they get benefits from them. Um, I do. I feel like I definitely can tell a difference in kind of the way that my, you know, texture feels. Um, am I saying that they are like the greatest thing since sliced bread? No. <laughs> but I like them. And I like to treat myself. You guys know I'm all for skincare. Um, I've been super into skincare for a very, very long time. All right. And then I normally keep my cotton ball that I've used, like, the toner with. I already threw it away. And I will kind of wipe the residual off. I don't have that, so I'm just going to grab this makeup wipe here. Y'all don't judge me, okay? Y'all don't judge me. But 
I think it feels really nice. It doesn't irritate my skin too much. I do get a little bit red in certain parts, like if it like gets too sticky. Um, but I have very sensitive skin, so that's kind of bound to happen for me on most items like this. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got that done. And then I'm going to go into the Hey Honey Look Into My Eyes Retinol and Propolis Eye Mask. And again, I'm literally just trying to use up as much of like my little kind of try me travel things as possible. I'm going in with my ring finger. Um, I know this is weird. I've seen a couple other people do this like recently. Um, so it doesn't make me feel so weird. But I like to let my eye creams sit on the skin for just a moment. Um, especially after you kind of put your toner and stuff in. I kind of wait just a second. And then I really just like to do a thin little layer. And I kind of start pressing it in and then I just let it sit for a second. For me personally, especially having super dry skin, I just feel like it kind of absorbs it a little bit better that way. I could be wrong and I could just be full of shit, but that's how I like to do it. I'm going to do me, you do you. That's how it's going to work. Okay, and then um, I just avoid the eye area and I'm going to go in with my Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. And I've actually really been enjoying this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. And I usually just do five dots and then really kind of press them into my nose and above my brows because that is where I get the most dry. I don't understand the brow thing. <laughs> and then I am just going to lightly rub it in, avoiding the direct under eye, of course. This smells pretty nice. Um, I've not really been a fan of Tatcha products the way that they smell in the past. Um, I don't know what the ingredient is in there that has that particular scent, but I mean, it's in everything they have. I've tried the little masks. I tried this Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, yeah. <laughs> but this doesn't, to me, smell quite as intense. And it's not like a bad smell. It's just really intense. And I'm so sensitive to scent that it's just too much for me sometimes. And then I always kind of lift going up and out. And then I will take my little ring finger and do the eye cream. And that, my loves, is it. So a little bit of a fail in regard to just it's things I don't use <laughs> or things that I don't really like. Um, the Iconic, the Plumping Lip Gloss, the one that we got the last time. I don't know if I have it right here or not. I don't think I do. But that I actually do like. And you guys know I'm super weird about glosses. So if I'm saying, yeah, there it is. So if I'm saying it's good and I've actually used some, y'all, I mean, y'all will be proud of me, okay? Y'all be proud of mama. Um, but I don't need two of them if I'm barely using one. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I like everything in the, you know, in the sense of do I feel like we got $25 worth? Absolutely. Um, I am really excited to use this. So I think what I'm going to start doing um, in the videos that I can't do a full kind of try on type of thing um, I will wait till the end of the month and since I only get boxy and ipsy I don't feel like it's too much to keep up with so maybe at the end of the month I can take all the products that I did like from my boxes and use them um, or do a lunchtime quickie or something like that with them so um, and if I'm crooked or anything like that or things are weird I'm sorry I literally spent six hours today trying to redo my room <laughs> lord help me um, and everything that's behind me and all that I mean I've had all the stuff I just kind of redid things and I'm trying to like condense stuff and just I'm trying to get back into the groove of things and kind of trying to, you know, get some pep in my step. I figured if I redid my room, maybe it would just kind of, you know, get me motivated again. And I feel like it is. I'm, I'm getting there, y'all. We are getting there. We are a work in progress. We all are. So thank you, beauty, so much. I hope everybody is well. Um, of course, I am always thinking of everybody. I hope that everything that's going on kind of calms down sooner than later. But I hope that whatever situation that you are in, that you are handling it the best way that you possibly can. Um, and at least enjoying time with family. If you are someone that is living alone, then please know that it's okay to reach out and it's okay sometimes to not be okay. So never, never feel shameful because of that. 
Um, and with that being said, I love you beauties and good night, sweet dreams, and be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.